this is Mrs. Perlman here. I can't believe we're starting our first day of school together tomorrow, and you are a kindergartner now. Woohoo! I have a special book for you tonight. I'm going to be reading to you The Night Before Kindergarten, and I know you have this book, so maybe you can um, look at yours and read along with me, look at the pictures with me, or maybe you can even read this again with your family tonight. I hope you enjoy the story. The night before kindergarten, because tomorrow we start kindergarten. Twas the night before kindergarten, and as they prepared, kids were excited and a little bit scared. I remember I felt that way too on my first day of school. They tossed and they turned about in their beds with visions of school supplies danced in their heads. Erasers and crayons and pencils galore were stuffed in their backpacks and set by the door. Outfits were hung in the closets with care, knowing that kindergarten soon would be there. In the morning it came, school starts today. Would the teacher be nice? Would they still get to play? Faces were washed and teeth were brushed white. Kids posed for pictures with eyes sparkling bright. Parents packed snacks and kids hopped in cars as if they were boarding a spaceship to Mars. Some kids brought blankets or their favorite stuffed bear in hopes they could nap like they did in daycare. Their parents exclaimed, you're big kids, wow! Let us hold your bears and blankies for now. Parents were worried their children would cry if they left them at school with just a goodbye. So they told their darlings, if you want, we can stay and make sure that everything will be a-okay. The teacher then greeted each one with a smile and invited the students to stay for a while. The room was all filled with toys, books, and maps, but where were the beds for mid-morning naps? colored and painted and played Simon Says, then tumbled and skipped and stood on their heads. <laughs> they sang silly songs from beginning to end. Within just a minute, each kid had a friend. The children were happy. They loved Miss Sunrise. It was she who was in for a giant surprise. When what to her wondering eyes should appear but sad moms and dads who were holding back tears. Their noses so sniffly, their eyes red and wet. This was the saddest goodbye Miss Sunrise had seen yet. She gathered the grown-ups on the magical rug, then sent them away after one final hug. The children all waved from the door of the school. Don't cry, Mom and Dad. Kindergarten is cool. And so, for us, our school day will look a little different, but it will still be lots of fun and we'll be able to meet some new friends, do some really fun things together, and um, we'll send you some really fun activities to do. I hope you enjoyed this story. Get a good night's sleep tonight, and we will see you tomorrow. Bye.